Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, here is something we definitely needed. How about the sunset over Chautauqua Lake last night? Thanks to Caitlin for sending this in to us. And, you know, with all the recent news about, you know, you know, all the stuff that's been going on, we need some peace and tranquility. And, man, you could just stare at that and just... Uh, relax for a minute or two. So thanks to Caitlin for that. That's definitely what the doctor had ordered. We definitely needed some of that. Now, in terms of the winner here, we did the calculations on this this morning. We have had 74 above average days since December 1st, you know, for high temperatures. And when you actually factor all this in, we've had 41 below average days. So obviously this winter has been mild by a long shot. And it looks like this warmer pattern will likely continue through at least the first half of spring here. We'll see what happens as we head into the middle part of spring and especially into later spring going into summer. So here's the forecast through the afternoon today. 54 at the immediate Lake Erie shoreline to 63 well inland. Uh, we have the mostly uh, sunny skies early. Then the clouds will thicken up from west to east. Very mild and breezy with a southwest wind 10 to 20 miles per hour with some wind gusts near 30 miles an hour. The next thing we're keeping our eyes on is going to be a cold front moving on through. So we'll show it to you on future scan. Nothing through the afternoon. Now, as we head into tonight, we'll start to see a few rain showers developing with a cold front that's moving on through. And obviously the cold front will bring in colder air. So temperatures tomorrow will be cooler. Better chance of rain is going to be in the morning hours tomorrow. Then we may break out into a basically uh, mostly sunny to maybe even full sunshine across the area. And then as we head into Thursday night and then as we head into Friday night going into Saturday you'll start to see the essence of our next storm system popping up here so let's talk about it this is something we hinted yesterday talking about and pretty much much of this week we've been talking about this low pressure system passing to our northwest in the upper Great Lakes so Saturday and Sunday widespread rain likely both days as it stands right now the heaviest amounts of the rain will likely be on Saturday through the day then it'll be cooler on Saturday then as the storm system actually moves moves to our north up into Canada will be on the warmer side. So temperature spikes into the 60s on Sunday. The rain should become more scattered in nature, but it will also turn very windy as well. We're looking at wind gusts, maybe 40 to 50 miles per hour on Sunday. So there's a lot to digest, especially through this weekend. But of course, we'll keep you updated. 38 to 42 tonight, developing rain showers, especially toward morning hours. And then tomorrow, 54 to 52 with a morning rain shower, then afternoon clearing. Here comes the seven day forecast and a 40 six on Saturday cooler there with the storm system 61 on Sunday but it also turns very windy along with that a few scattered showers Monday and Wednesday we sneak in a dry day on Tuesday now as we hinted yesterday another storm system could likely develop on Thursday and Friday which could bring us some snow but that's still way out in voodoo country we still need to determine that so that is a TBA as of this point